Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tusk Reaper Gaming. In this episode, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons Online, and we're taking a look at the Ionic hero, the Deep Gnome. Now, the Deep Gnome is a wizard, and we're going to look at two variant builds. One I'm going to do on a customized, and then the other one we're going to take the pre-build for the Deep Gnome. And we're going to kind of compare the two and see what the difference is. Is it better to make your own, or is it better to take the pre-build version of the Deep Gnome? Alright, let's go ahead and get into the video. Welcome to Tusk Reaper Game. Please like, subscribe, and get notified. Alright, here we go. Deep Gnome, customize. I'm going to make this one a male, just so there's a strong distinction between the two of them. And we are going to see what we can do with a 32 point champion build. That's pretty much what I'm going to go for. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to fast forward through all of this stuff. As I choose things, I'm going to be choosing them to uh, kind of benefit my concentration balance. Um, possibly the use magic device so things are a little bit easier for me to use as I level up here and there. But I'm not going to really spend a whole lot on that. It's going to be these main focus points. All right, let's see how I did with creating this character. So we've got 6, 8, 18, 23, 10, and 6. Now, I don't have any enhancements, so we're on the straight up on that. Spells are going to be fairly relative, um, is what it is. At least you get to, you know, you do it yourself, you get to pick your own. That's one of the benefits. So we'll just uh, scroll through that real quick just so you kind of see where I'm at as far as uh, feats go. Um, you know, it's just the standard stuff. And then this is where I put my skills. Just so everybody kind of knows where all of that's at. Spellcrafts at 24. That one is going to be intricate to the spellcaster because it kind of beefs you up a little bit. So, all right not bad all right let's go ahead and get into this thing and we are gonna get into the deep gnome here we're just gonna go ahead and bypass all this stuff real quick um and we'll get right all right let's talk to this guy here and we will accept the wizard training we're gonna go just directly to level 15. Building up our action points, auto leveling only takes a minute. All right, so just but just from a base standpoint, that's what I'm really reflecting this on. Um, I'm not going to spend any enhancement points. I'm not going to do anything like that. Let's see what our ability scores are. It looks like we're at 6, 18, 23, 10, 6, so pretty straightforward. All right, let's see what Shanky Shankier has got going on. So 6, 8, 18, 23, 10, and 16. So it's exactly the same. Now the uh, skills here... Now I had a, let's see here, 22 on uh, concentration, which is the same. My repair, oh, this one's 24. The repair I had was 22. Balance is eight on both. The heal on this one is only four. The heal on the other one was, I think, uh, five or six. And then the spellcraft is 24 and which is the same 
Now, the use magic device is nine, which is comparative. So all in all, the balance is uh, pretty much the same as that goes. The difference is really is going to be the spells. You know, this is auto spell checking, you know, or picking. Um, at least I was able to uh, pick my spells correctly. Now, the blur, I didn't take the blur when I created my own for the simple reason is in the enhancement tree for the deep known, which we'll go ahead and check that out right now. You kind of get these uh, these points over here, so you can do. Let's see where where is blur? Permanent blur. So once you get that up in there, uh, you'll be able to uh, <laughs> have it permanently. So why do I need a spell? Because I'm probably going to do this right here. Get my uh, intelligence beefed up through this tree. That's the smartest thing to do. And then I'll take permanent blur. Anything else that, you know, depending on your style, maybe you want to use, um, you know, a light repeating crossbow with your wizard, which is perfectly fine. Or you want to use staves. Uh, whatever the case is, you'll be able to, um, you know, kind of fix your character the way that your play style is. That way it gives you better survival chance. All right, guys. So that is what we got for the Deep Gnome. Tell me what your comments are if you like the Deep Gnome. Um, so the benefit either way, I'd say taking the time creating your own deep gnome instead of doing the auto leveling to 15 because you're impatient is actually going to benefit you more mainly in your spell book the spells that in your play style that you really want to be as a wizard all right thanks for tuning in go ahead and leave your comments down below and we appreciate you watching this video everybody out there please stay safe stay healthy catch you next time Thank you for watching Tusk Reaper Game. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.